Hello again there everybody, you fans of old radios and uh, vintage gadgets. Uh, this is my, uh, my Montgomery Ward's airline radio. This is a tube type radio. It's post-World War II. I, think it, I believe the date on it is 1946 or 1947. It still has the, um, the larger tubes in it. Um, I know they started making the miniature tubes uh, not too long after that, but this one still has the larger tubes in it. Um, I'm not sure of the model number on this. I have um, um, not really had it apart to take a look at it. This is a radio that my wife picked up at a yard sale. Um, she paid, I think, $25 for it. Um, I'm not even sure if it's been restored yet. I haven't had it apart yet to really take a look. Um, but the cabinet was very beautifully uh, refinished. It, uh, it's in beautiful condition. Um, there's no chips, no nicks, cracks, uh, missing veneer or anything. It looks really nice. I'm going to flip it around here so we can see the back. It does have the original back to it. Um, and it's got the original cord, which, believe it or not, is in really nice condition. There's no cracks in it. It's got the original white plug on the back, on the end of it. Um, it says that it has an airwave loop aerial system on it. Super sensitive built in. Uh, these were some of the things that they used to talk about back in those days uh, to make their radio sound better than anybody else's when you were going to buy one. Um, I've looked inside a little bit with the back off and it's very clean. Somebody really took good care of it. They cleaned the chassis. Uh, the tubes are not coated in dust. Looks really good, but I have not had the chassis out to see if uh, any electronic restoration has been done. I have tested it a few times. Uh, and it does pick up radio signals. Um, I do have an AM radio broadcaster uh, that I picked up at a... Uh, nobody knew what they were selling. It was at a uh, thrift store. And it looked like a satellite box. And I got to looking at it thinking, that's not a satellite box. And it said uh, AM radio uh, transmitter. So I picked that up for $7. Um, which, on the internet, they sell for as much as $250. Long story short, I use that now to test all of my radios to see if they pick up signals. And this radio did pick up a very strong signal from that AM broadcaster, but as far as picking up further stations out, it is very weak. So uh, it's telling me that maybe it does need a little bit of electronic restoration at this point. This unit does look to have the original knobs. The tuning string is wound very well, um, and it moves very nicely. The speaker cloth is in excellent condition. It looks to be original. It doesn't look like a um, like it was replaced at any point. Um, but this this radio just sitting on a shelf this looks beautiful in my collection. So there you have it, my late 1940s uh, Montgomery Ward's Airline radio. Thanks for checking out this video. I've got more coming.